So here we are in Ibis Paint X, and as always, we're gonna start off with tracing out our character. And since this is very interesting to watch, uh, uh, I'm gonna skip it. Now that I trace out each part separately, the next step is shading, and that's a lot of work. It's basically adding shadows so that we could get a 3D look, and later we can add in texture to make it look good. Wow, that was a lot to shade. Anyway, let's add in this texture, and I'm gonna use the same texture for every single part. Brother, uh, what's that? Okay, this looks very creepy now. Let's change its color to black. And for that, I'm gonna use the hue and saturation lightness. By simply decreasing the saturation first, and then tweak the lightness a bit. And now I have to do this to every single one of them. Wow, now that's beautiful, isn't it? Wait, we missed a small spot here. Let me fix that really quick by painting that area first, and then using the magic wand tool. I'm gonna select that area, and when we duplicate it, that part is gonna, and that looks perfect. We have to change the color for the arm and legs. So let's use hue and saturation to change its color. We can't forget about the tail, so let's trace the shapes first and fill those areas. With help of Magic Wand, let's select those area and duplicate it, so it will be easy for us to change its color. I have a feeling like the shading looks a bit bad, so let me try to fix it. Same with the arm, let's give him some muscle shapes. Let's trace the face and eyes.
Now for the hands, we're gonna do the same thing. Nothing new. <laughs> Let's finish it off with place this on the chest and then we can move on to placing him in a background. Dance, make it hurt. 